Oh, we got the Fousey. Fousey tube is crashing out once again. Always crashing out. He needs to quit content creation as a whole because time and time again, he continues to show that his mental health can't handle what it takes to be a content creator. We had a penthouse on the road until... Strangers they need to... Now, I'm pretty sure we're all already familiar with FouseyTube, but for those of you who aren't, he was once a huge YouTuber back in the 2010s, known for his prank videos, skits, and vlogs. And throughout his career, he's had some pretty big mental breakdowns. They were cringe. One of the most notable ones being on July 15th, 2018, where he was hosting an event, and the event was forced to shut down because of a bomb threat. He also claimed that Drake was going to be at this event, but we all know... Drake was not there. And since the yeah, event was never going to go there, the man started tweaking out on top of a car. And that's when people realized that FouseyTube is the man is kind of nutty. Like there's a few loose screws up there. You're heating up your breakfast when I'm heating up my dinner. <laughs> yeah. I remember. I remember this. I remember this. Oh my God. What a year. Fast forward to 2023, Fousey started streaming on Kick, doing these IRL streams, and on stream, he'd do things like running in the street, or spazzing out on his team, or even just straight up hitting himself. My gloves! My gloves! Did we really forget my gloves? No, your glove is, um... No, there was two gloves. I only seen one. One real one. I one forgot real. the left one. I'm about to, I'm about to punch myself. Sneeko, hold my hands. Wallahi, I'm about to punch myself. Sneeko, I hit myself, please. I swear to God, I hit my... Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, punching yourself because you forgot a glove back at your house is insane. This man is, I think, 34, 35. He's a little, he's he's a little wonky, yeah. Because he forgot a glove. That just shows you that this man's mental isn't all the way there. And this all led up to one huge meltdown that he had in a hotel room where he called the cops on himself. Oh, and when the yeah. cops came, he started spazzing out on the cops. He got arrested, and that was pretty much the end of Fousey. He took a long break until he came back on an Aiden stream looking like James Harden and Aiden Ross decided to give him a hundred thousand dollars but that wasn't the official comeback the official comeback was in June and after oh he came God. back he was doing fine just chilling creating his content cracking jokes doing IRL streams until he crashed out once again which actually happened pretty recently now this crash out actually occurred when the man was doing a 24 7 30 day streaming marathon where he oh never I remember I remember he he was like posting about this and whatnot I didn't I did not watch any of this so this is news to me. Ain't no way this man crashed out in the shower. Turn the cameras off. They would always be rolling for just 30 days straight, which is a terrible idea for someone like FouseyTube. I mean, the man has had many mental breakdowns. I don't think it's really a good idea for that man to have the cameras no, on 24 seven for 30 days. That is crazy to me. Now to some people, these streaming marathons may sound insane, which, they are, but it's a pretty common thing in the streaming. They're fun. Currently. They're fun they to do, man. I love them. September and theirs went well, and other streamers have done them before. Like Kai Snat has done. Yeah, they're marathons. so fun. But FouseyTube, the dude who has issues, decided to do this, and it completely blew up in his face. But what's crazy is that this marathon was only going for about 48 hours, and he crashed out <laughs> on the second day of the marathon. This man didn't even get into, like, a week or anything. The first 48 hours, this man was already crashing out. And one of these crash outs actually led to him getting banned on kick. Now, you may be asking, what, what did he exactly do to get banned? It's pretty hard to get banned on kick. The amount of things that fly over there are insane. But what he actually did was get into a fight with one of his employees now apparently this whole argument started because one of his employees was supposed to charge a camera during the night and it wasn't charged when he woke up and it started off as a verbal altercation and then ended in a physical altercation the camera's fully charged, and then you just tell me that the camera right now is at 15%, and it's been 10 hours. Yes. So how is it at 15% if you charged it at 30 Yo, relax! Yes, there might have been an issue with production, but it doesn't warrant staring him down like this, bro. 
What are you about to do to this man? Holy, relax, bro. Relax. It's only day two. You can go out. It's it's morning. You can go buy a new battery camera. Okay? You, like, we know. We know. You can afford to do it. Like, just calm down. Someone can leave to go pick up a battery camera to come back. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> this song be sad. <laughs> oh, bro, it's not that serious, dude. Now, I will say, I understand Fuzi's frustration when it comes it to is frustrating, the camera yes. not being charged when one of his employees were supposed to charge it during. And they're getting paid for it. It's the same thing that happened, like, during the Mafia Thon. But, like, dude. L production is what it is. You move past it, okay? Like, bro, people make mistakes, man. People make mistakes. You just gotta grow up, man. Okay? It's frustrating, but you don't gotta crash out like that the night but straight up disrespecting the dude saying that he doesn't have balls and saying he's not gonna be shit and saying how oh i'm an a-list celebrity go hang out with your z-lister friends i just find that insane like no boss is ever supposed to talk to one of their yeah. employees like that and this man is saying z-lister it's friends, degrading like he's an a-list celebrity bro you are a kick streamer why are you over here acting <laughs> like you're a celebrity you're a kick streamer you could go anywhere in this world without security and you would be fine you are not an a-list celebrity this man is acting like he's beyonce <laughs> travis scott or Drake, you're a streamer. You're Fousey Tube. Obviously, some content creators have to take celebrity precautions, but yeah, Fousey yeah. Tube is not a celebrity, bro. This man is deranged. That's what he is. I get it's annoying when employees aren't doing their jobs and stuff, and it, it's not really getting anything done for your business, but hauling off and hitting an yeah, employee this is, is not a ridiculous. good look. Nobody's gonna want to work for you if you're over here crashing out like that and hitting your own employees. There's this other clip I saw the other day where Fousey actually slapped one of his cameramen, not in the face, but he, tr he slapped the camera out of the cameraman's hand because the cameraman got too close to him which is it's just dumb listen you guys know i talk a lot these motherfuckers that are in, on the internet right now make stop getting sick. I don't think this is the correct response when someone gets yo yo it, it, just don't work for the dude stop giving this guy like uh, employees bro that is ridiculous holy crash out bro Nah. It's close to your face with a camera, especially your own cameraman. Like, I'm right. we're living in this clip culture society today, but slapping the camera out of the cameraman's hand is kind of insane. And also saying, are you slow and screaming at the dude? Like, bro, all you have to say is like, yo, can you just back up a little? That's all you got to say. You don't got to be extreme and just slap it out of his hand and start screaming at the nah, dude. Nah, extreme is what gets the it's views. And what's crazy is this man, Fousey, will sit here and wonder why people don't want to be around him. But it's like, when you see this man acting like a toddler like that, why would anyone want to be around him? I mean, True. you saw Sneeko's face when the dude was hitting himself on his own forehead. You're 34 years old, bro. But at the same time, what should I expect from a man who has a tattooed hairline, veneers, and sucks on his vape like he's a middle schooler? Like, there's not much to expect from Fousey. <laughs> there was this other clip I saw where one of Fousey's cameramen accidentally leaked one of Fousey's features on his upcoming album. Yes, you heard that correctly. Fousey album? Was dropping an album. But yeah, one of his cameramen leaked one of his features and Fousey started crashing out on him wait till they hear ferrari wait till they hear soldier wait till they hear the song with mexican ot the car is ready wait till they see you in the studio <laughs> close the door wait how long have you been here um, just like two wait minutes. is it muted or unmuted i turned off the mic what is it on right now uh, it's on now what was it when i was talking just the last sentence you said? Yeah. Just the last sentence, that's it. Everybody sit down, please. It wasn't on Sit down! You asked me for permission to go film outside to smoke your vape. I allowed it. I had a very vulnerable moment with my team. 
I did not know you crept back into the corner. I just leaked one of my features. That wasn't supposed to happen until three weeks from now. I love you, and I'm gonna try something I've never done. I swear to God on my mother's heartbeat, you would be fired right now, and you personally, I think I would have punched in the face. When you come into a room, you yell, cameras, my life is 24 seven. I'm gonna have privacy moments. I just said something I shouldn't have said. I didn't. Oh, boo hoo, bro. That's your own fault. You literally just said that you had cameras on you 24 seven. Don't be sitting here saying private information like that. Keep it to yourself. Like, I, I don't, I don't understand. What, what is he getting emotional for? You were here, dog. Again, I will say I understand Fuzi's frustration because he was having a talk with his team and the mics were not supposed to be hot, but the cameraman came back in the sprinter with a mic on, which ended in him leaking a feature on his upcoming album. But saying you're going to punch the man in the face for that is kind of crazy. Like nobody cares that your cameraman leaked that you have a song coming out with Mexican OT that's going to go triple styrofoam. Who cares, honestly? Who cares? I feel like the biggest <laughs> problem with Fuzi is that he hires these random off the street to help him with his production True. and he expects them to be top notch when that's not what you should expect when you're hiring randoms off the street it takes time to find a good team you can't expect to get that right off true 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 has a big forehead a uh, small brain yeah jump when you hire someone in there's another clip i saw on twitter where this man fuzi was crashing out on his own fans yes you heard that correctly on his own fans okay, that makes right? sense you tell it to me listen Shut up, guys! Shut up! Shut up! Shut the fuck up, you dumbasses! I'm sorry, but calling your own fans dumbasses, bro. There are only <laughs> so many Fuzzy fans in the world, bro. And you just lost probably a few of them. You probably lost five percent of your audience right then and there. A Fuzzy fan in 2024 is hard to find. You can't just be out here getting heated at them like this. <laughs> <laughs> when they're non-existent anyway now that clip of fuzi getting into a fight with one of his employees that i showed earlier that actually caused fuzi to get banned on damn and unbanned they know if they up it makes me go bipolar look at my eyes i'm gonna boom myself tonight live kick.com backslash fussy done eh. but when he was banned he started dropping these weird videos like this one right here so remember how i was doing a 24 7 live stream for 30 days to record my debut album and i hired the best team in america you know the team that kicks me out of the bathroom and texts me to say get the fuck out it's their turn to shower in the house i'm paying for the team that live in front of 16,000 people slams the door in my face the team that tells me to suck their dick and i have to punch them all live the team that forgets the tell me to take my mental health medication when i ask them hey guys i'm hiring you to do a b and c but your main priority help me help myself i don't know how to don't let me get myself in trouble don't let me go to jail don't let me go in the hospital yeah I'm yeah band in under 48 thank hours. you for so speeding it up sprinter and told them to suck my dick i'm now by myself on the side of the motherfucking road they didn't appreciate me when i was live don't come to my fucking funeral when i'm dead and like you can tell just from this video that he's not in the right headspace yeah this video is kind of scary because the man is saying don't come to his funeral when he's dead and i mean that doesn't insinuate he's trying to off himself but at the same time it's, it kind of does like, yeah you know, yeah you know like you left it's kind of a hidden message of walking around with socks on in the middle of nowhere in a, a nurse gown People are going to be worried and later he actually drops another video where he's more emotional and crying and it seems like he's actually thinking about the consequences of his own actions i've been under so much stress i promised eddie and akil i wouldn't crash out like last year and now that i calm down i'm realizing all the destruction that i caused that this happens to me all the time now that my adrenaline dumped and I'm back to Yusuf and I open Twitter and I see what Fousey did, I'm like, oh, I feel so much better now, though. I feel free. I feel so free. What makes this video is weird that he's talking about like Fousey and Yusuf as if they're two different people when it's like, just use me or like I, Yo, you know? maybe like, I know. maybe he has multiple There's personalities with this man and i honestly think it's time for this man to just hang up the jersey like i mean Bro. the man had a good run but like true I, said, I just think it's time to step away from content like he always comes back to content saying how he's a changed man starts going up with the content this is his like third attempt at being a changed man i'm pretty sure third or fourth clips and going viral has spurts where he has these little meltdowns and then he has one big meltdown and that meltdown
towel needs to a break and he comes back and does the exact same thing all True. over again and it's been happening for way too long this cycle has been repeating for years and it's starting to get annoying and i also find it annoying how many chances people give this man when are we just gonna label this man as an idiot who can't control his emotions rather than just blaming everything on his mental health because these are the these are the last people that like should have a community that sits here and yeah his community's like let's be for real it's a foozy community okay it's probably split on they want us they're there to see him crash out all right they want to see him fail so they join they sit here they type away type away at their little keyboards and you're crash out foozy crash out crash out right and they want to see him fail like, they're watching him for the crash outs okay um yeah it's like someone someone that has probably something something wrong shouldn't be doing this who needs to take like mental health medication probably shouldn't be de like directing their entire lives on the internet because well some people can just be messed up okay some people can be messed up in their chats and yeah yeah they're just messed up if he continues to do these things that deteriorate his mental health it's not good for him over again or is it his fault like the first couple of times sure it's his mental health fault but this is a recurring thing with Fuzi. i'm tired of people being like ah it's his mental health fault not his for the five billionth time and giving him another chance and he just messes up over and right. over and over again yes his mental health does play a part in some of his actions but if he keeps going back to these things that keep on triggering these outcomes we eventually got to be like yo it's Fuzi's fault. It's, it's not enough. his mental health's fault. It's his fault. Hypothetically, if I were to get cheated on by a girl seven times in a row, by that seventh time, is it still her fault for cheating or is it my fault it's for putting my trust in her? I just fault. think it's time for Fuzi to wrap it up. If I'm being completely real, like this this has been happening Pack way it too up. much and we can't keep on letting this happen, you know? I just want to know who in Fuzi's circle is allowing this. Like this man just Bro, needs to stop they all it. are. They all are because they're they're like little leeches, man. And they sit here and they pray. They pray on your failure because your failure gets big views, right? And so they're all just sitting here, circled around him like little sharks, and he's just swimming alone in the ocean. But you know, up with the content, maybe go behind the scenes or something. Anything but being in front of the camera, because the moment he gets in front of the camera, it's the same thing with Kanye. A little bit of success starts getting some fame, some bread in his pocket. He starts crashing out, and it just yep. keeps on repeating and repeating, and it's it's getting tiring. It's genuinely getting tiring to keep on seeing this man do this. But yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comment section below. All that being said, this is going to wrap up the video. If you guys made this far, I appreciate you. Twitch Cameron WAK, link to my Discord yep. server in the description. If you guys enjoyed this video, then I highly recommend you guys check out my most recent video. Yep, yeah, W, w Cameron, okay. If you're watching this, make sure to like the original as well, okay? I appreciate it. Uh, Yeah. Fuzi, Fuzi crashing out. Not a surprise. Not a surprise. Uh, yeah, probably just pack it up.